Good morning and welcome to the Team Unearthed Dig. End of March, South Cumbria, new farm, lots of land, a little bit of arable, a little bit of pasture. Um, I don't know what's going to turn up today, it could be anything. And we'll be right back with you as soon as anything of note comes to light. I think we're in for a good day. First up with um, Wayne Heston King and he's had a nice buckle this morning. That's right from the start, first five minutes. One of those big belt buckles from the Georgian period, probably 17, mid 17s onwards into the 1800s. Well done, nice find that. Great start by him. We've just had a, a shout off Dave Tap Taylor and he seems to think he's got hammered in the hole and we're going to go right in. Oh yes, that's definitely a hammered mate. Do you want to, get, do, you want to do the honest tap? Well done, so. Well, it's a piece of lead at first because there's been a few bag seals. Oh there. yeah, it's definitely a hammered. Somebody's got, you know, having a problem with a probe somewhere. I can hear it going mental in the background. Well, there's some water on it. Yeah, why not? We've got some. Well, let's put the cat amongst the pigeons because I thought uh, some of the other fields would have held hammered, but that's a really good start because it's literally right out of the car, isn't it? Yeah, that's, a, that's a, a, an Edward Penny, a medieval penny. It's a nice one as well, you know. Look at the colour of it. Right, I'm going to have that off you, mate. I, I can't hold back any longer. Yeah, very nice tat. Fantastic, well done mate. Right, we'll be back as soon as anything else comes to note. Well, that's the first oh, hammer of the day oh, it snaps, and it's to tap Taylor. Well, a bit of joy here. And Mark, who joined us uh, only recently, uh, is a bit beginner and he's just had his first ever hammered. And he's overjoyed with that and I'm overjoyed for him. One of the Edwards. It's a medieval silver coin. Well done to him. That's his first ever hammered. So there you go, that's another hammered, and we'll be right back on it as soon as anything comes up. Oh. We're here with Joanne, and she's just had a beehive thimble. Just as you go down that hill from uh, Bear Creek to Ursley. There you go, look. Yeah, not often see them coming up in this area. Small, isn't it? Little, uh, little beehive thimble. Well done, Joanne. Excellent find. Uh, back with Mark again, and he's had a little fob seal. Straight off the plough. That's nice, that'll clean up really nice, that, actually. He's having a great day, he's just had a hammer, his first hammer, he's got a nice little artefact now. There you go, folks, look at that. Excellent work for him, from him, even. Here with Dean now, and he's just had a silver mill coin. A sixpence, 1920, yeah, 1920 dead. Nice little coin, that. Always nice to get a bit of silver. Look at that. In all its glory. Uh, here with Martin now, and he's had a lovely bit of silver. With some initials on it, look. What do we think it says, Martin? It's A. Lawson. A. Lawson, look at that. Beautiful. Be wrong. My eyes aren't great. Well, your, your eyes are better than mine, sir. Yeah, I think you're right. Nice mate, nice bit of silver. Well, well done. done, well done. Do you always get the silver, you? I know, I do like it. It's excitement yeah, here now because Karen's just coming running up to us with a with a first ever hammered coin she's found. And I'm absolutely made up for her. We're going to clean a bit of the dirt off to see if it's uh, either Mary or Elizabeth. And we'll be back right back with you. So I'm really made up for her finding that. I just cleaned it off uh, for uh, her. It turned out to be an Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth sixpence. A really nice one as well. So I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased for Karen there. The date we can't get the date on it because it would have been across the top, just above the three lions there, and it's just worn out sadly. But what a beautiful coin! Absolutely stunning coin that. Well done to her. Steve Vullard now with a, a squashed bell, silver bell, probably Victorian. Been well squashed. 
and that's what I think that is. So there's a, an array of finds coming up actually. I'm quite pleased with how uh, how this day has turned out up to now, and, and we've still got probably five or six hours left. So really good. Well done to him. Right, much excitement's going on here because all hell's broke loose. We're in the gold zone. I'm going to zoom in at this. This is Neil, Neil Irwin, good friend of mine, good friend of Team Unearthed, and he has just had a dance in the middle of the field. I'm not going to show the dance, no, 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 please. but look at this, folks. <laughs> yes, my friend, that is absolutely gorgeous. Come on, mate, let's go and do the honours. It's a sovereign. Now then, are we going to say that's a half sovereign, isn't it? I think it's half. It's a beautiful coin. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm going to have to... Do listen, you... you. <laughs> it's, it's Edward the Seventh, 1905. Beautiful coin. Absolutely gorgeous. You don't see many of them. In fact, I'm going to stick my neck out and think these are... These are rarer than the Vicky half sovereigns. You see more Vicky half sovereigns than you do these. And that is a cracking coin, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it, isn't it stunning to see a bit of gold? Well. well absolutely amazing, mate. I'm going to put that back on that and cherish the moment for you. Look at that. Does it get any better? After that exciting uh, coin found by Neil, Kate has got a smile as wide as a Mersey, and the reason is that she's had a gold coin. Look at that. I'm just lost for words with that absolutely stunning full sovereign. We're thinking it's George the Fourth. We're going to clean the mud off gently, but just feast your eyes on that absolute stunning coin. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get it clean the mud off it and we'll get the date off it and come back. There you go, well done. Just, um, we'll have a look at that coin after we've just got the water out and look at this. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Much. George the Fourth, full sovereign, and the date is 1821. 1821, look at that. Well it doesn't get much better, but we're gonna persevere and see what comes up in the next two hours. Uh, we're here with Cheryl now, and she's had a bit of silver. There's silver and um, <laughs> copper coins coming up all over the place. That is a sixpence, and it's a real nice sixpence of 1911. There you go. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Ricky, and uh, he said the silver in the hole, and I think he's right. Right, my friend, you can do the honours. Do you want me to do the honours while I'm down here? Yeah. It's a big coin, mate. Yeah. It's a Vicky. Queen Victoria Jubilee head. Shilling. Or is it a florin? It's quite a big coin, that. Possibly a shilling there, Rick. Really nice coin. Really bonny coin, that. It's a, it's, a, it's a Jubilee head one, guys. Can you see in the viewfinder? Yeah. yeah. Really, really, what a coin. Nice. Yeah, and there's the imprint, look. Excellent work, mate. I'll hand that over to you, Rick. Brilliant, thank you. What a man. Yeah, we're here with Grant now, and he's just had a little three pence of Queen, Queen Victoria, as you can see there, look. Really nice coin under there. Well done to him. 1894. Back again with uh, Grant, and he's had a sixpence this time of Queen Vic again. And it's, uh, let's have a look at the date. On this one for you folks... 1896 this time, there is literally coins coming up all over the place. Dean next and he's had a, it looks like a shilling and a sixpence. As you can see, fantastic. Right mate, well done, that'll do. It's back now and uh, not gold this time, but silver. Top of a pocket watch I would say. And look at the design on that, so probably Victorian looking at that design. Again, a really nice little artifact to add to the collection of silver that's coming up today amazing here with ricky now and he's just had a silver he's left it out in the hall kindly and i think putting my glasses on that's a shilling by the sound of it or size of it and it's an earlier one that that's an early 
Yeah, it is. It's William. That's the earliest silver off this field today. 1600 silver this time, a nice one as well. It's just a bit worn, but uh, you can see the king's head quite clear. Absolutely amazing. We're here with uh, Liam now. Now, Liam's had his first ever gold coin, and it's there, look. There's coins literally coming up all over the place. Absolutely amazing. 1871. Oh, absolutely. Look at that, Queen Vic. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, words fail me today. Never expected this. Much excitement. And it's just continuing over and over. Drew next, and he's just come off the uh, off the fields above where we are detecting these. Had the silver pin off a ring brooch, which is treasure, and that will have to be claimed as treasure through the process. What the brooch would have been like is well, I mean, look at the pin. Look at that pin. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow, we, wow, we. Serious stuff, this. What a dig. Yeah, Andrew next again, and he's had a, a little hammered. Looks like a little half penny. One of Richard's, Henry's, maybe. And everything, and everything is coming up today. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Jim next, and he's had a, as he puts it, a cheeky little silver. And that is um, a sixpence. Yeah, it is Edward the Seventh. Is it Edward? Yeah. Oh, is it George? Could be George. I, I think uh, it's a nice little coin anyway, so I'm not sure what the date is. Anyway, well done, well done, uh, sir. Dave uh, Tap Taylor now in his second hammered, and this has been a clipped or cut. I, th I think it's a Mary, it's a broken Mary possibly. Hey, it's silver. That's all that matters. It's a silver and it's a hammered. Lizzie, maybe. I don't know why. More silver for the day. We Steve Fullard now, and he's had a, a very worn William shilling. As you can see, let me get the sun. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I've had another shout off Ricky and he's had a silver again. We'll get that out gently. Yeah, it's a sixpence. 18, oh sorry, 1916. Nothing on that side because the mud's holding it, but there you go, another silver. Nice one. Jim Black now, when he's had a, I'll just take that off you guys gently, he's had a, a Vicky Shilling. Nice one as well, look at the back on that. So it's a later, a later coin. 1895. Very nice indeed. Well, Louise has just shouted us over and she's just had a hammered. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Can you turn that over for us and let's have a look? Ah, yeah. Medieval penny. Brilliant, Louise. Well done. You've stuck in today and persevered. It's your second silver, is it? Second silver, Louise? Uh, yeah, I had a shilling, uh, George Fisher. Let's have a look. Nice one. Oh, yeah, very nice. What do you think? Do you think it's not natural to win? Yeah, you've done great. 1930. What a day. What a day for silver and gold. Steve Glue. And he's just had a hammered. That'll click underneath that uh, encrustation, there'll be a, a half decent. Uh, Henry the Third. I would say. Anyway, there you go, folks. There's another hammered to add to the collection of silvers today. We're here with Fred now, and he's uh, he's had a nice hammered, and that is a half cut Henry the Third. Not sure which mint mark it is. He can uh, identify that himself. But uh, what a nice coin! Look at that beautiful condition silver. That a far cry from the other Henry the Third half cut we've just uh, viewed earlier. Shows you, doesn't it? What a coin. Uh, Andy's on the gold now, a little gold link. I'm not sure what. Off a, it's off a gold chain, maybe. See something there, look. 
rose gold possibly yeah more gold eh nice what a day fantastic i'm absolutely exhausted with all the excitement jay brown and he's just had a silver for him he's bagged his silver of the day 1915 sixpence of george bear with me a sec mate uh there you go there's george nice little coin another one to add to today's collection Ian has just come up with the best hammered of the day look at this beauty oh that is absolutely stunning yeah that's a stunner mate best hammered of the year that certainly best hammered of today that portrait's unbelievable look at that what a coin what a coin well done him there's a few bits that martin's had here look you can see the silver coin his strip of silver we got before spindle wall can't wheel penny with a hole in it a bit of a weight he's had a great day that's a gig it's nice I'm, I'm going to have a look at this little item here from paul paul parnell that is silver in a brooch part of a brooch or a brooch yeah I've definitely a good day that's nice that'll clean up really nice that. and you've had a you've had what i looks like a knife yeah that's nice a bag that. full of lead. that's unusual yeah that's definitely a sword or a knife wow you beat me well he's beat me every dog has it, every, every dog has its tail yeah, ah. well done dave reed now he's just walked up this big hill and he's uh for his efforts actually he's had three silvers look at that all six pences oh, wonderful absolutely fantastic day what a day look at that thank you very much can't be bad eh no here well with done, jackie mate. now she's had a silver as you can see and it's a 1930 sixpence jackie from blue dicusty text she's done really well today to winkle out a nice sixpence there you go well done her uh, john elwood next and he's had uh, a george the third sixpence 1816 lovely uh, lovely coin that look at that Blue, beautiful blue tinge to it well done him now look at the coins that kate's had today look at all them in there and she got a little sixpence 1937 as you can see and all these different coins sixpences and threepences, sixpences and, threepences, and i'm going to put that in there for you kate i've not seen you for some time uh, but you've well. had a really good day haven't yeah. you it's broken me. <laughs> it's broken you. But you're happy broken. I'm happy broken. Well yeah. done. Well done. Uh, Bronze Age, Iron Age All, which is a leather working tool. Uh, classic All. That. They come in all shapes and sizes, and that is a really nice find. For punching holes in leather, no less. Not a stylus. It is an All. A W L. Well done to him. Here with Mark, look, and Mark had the hammered earlier, wherever the hammered is, I think it's in there, is it? Oh, you've got it in your hand. You, you got the hammered coin earlier today, but he's bagged some more. Sixpences later on, as you can see, and a threatening bit. Not a bad day, eh? No, cracking. The Xterra Pro, eh? Yeah, Xterra Pro. What a, what a machine. As per your recommendation, Graham. Yeah, well, he's, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fantastic day, mate. Well done.